Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to pick up this video right where I left off the last one. In the last video, uh, you saw how I caught that very large barracuda on a very light tackle setup. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do. So now I'm going to pick up right where I left off, and we're going to see if we can recapture that magic and get something just as big on this trip. Check it out. Oh my god. Yes, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Yes. We're on. Big fish. I think it's a jack. Oh, yes. Woo! He's still on. Oh boy, this could be a problem. Oh boy, we don't want to get schooled. Jesus. You seeing this? Oh, don't run over my line. Not now, boat, not now. All right. Big Jack, I think. Beast Jack. Fish in the Stratic. Don't want to. It's going to be very hard to turn this fish around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, this thing's a monster. I'm about to turn around. This thing's got to be out there like a thousand yards. Light tackle. Big action. Monster fish. God, this thing's gonna take me across the jetty. Big, big fish. Alright, turn around. Make up. Make up brown. Big fish, big fish. All right, folks, this GoPro ran out of battery while I was fighting the fish. I've been battling this thing for like 20, 20 minutes at least. It's a monster, or for what I'm fishing. I can't tell if it's a pompano or a jack. I think it's a jack. It's big. We're gonna try and beach it.
Hopefully you can see this. Oh my god. This is exhausting. Oh yeah, it's a jet. Jeez. Yeah, you wanted that. Oh my god. Let's go. Try not to get my shoes all gross. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, look at that shit. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we pulled it off. It's like a 20 pound jack right there. Oh my God. Light tackle action. Look at that. <laughs> it's talking. There he goes. Unreal. Let me take a moment to show you what I'm fishing with. It's very simple. Just seven inch Senko, hooking it backwards because I find that they dive a little bit deeper this way. And that's a, an issue because of the wind. Just Texas rigged. Missed a lot of fish, but they're big enough. I don't even know if I can take another one of those fish. That was very exhausting, but worth it. Here we are again, going at it. Crack it down, see if we can catch another predator. Stay tuned. Some good stuff coming. Not a Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Grande. Grande. Barracuda or Jack? Haha. <laughs>
This is gonna take a long time. Yesterday, Jack, this big. <laughs> I think Jack, Jack Raval. <laughs> Woo <laughs> Boy Grande. <laughs> Oh, it's this is it. Ay, ay, ay. ay. Yeah, see, I hear you. You, uh, see. Getting this whole one on camera. Nice and slow, despacio. despacio. Tire itself out. You see. There it is, right? Oi, aquí. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, steel smeal.
Oh my goodness. See? Oh. <laughs> Careful, thing got quit. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no me importa. Woo! All right. Just lost one, so we can make it happen again. Yeah. So that was a little bit of a heartbreak. I lost that fish, uh, and it honestly was my fault. First and foremost, I should have never put that guy to grab it. I'm sure he knew what he was doing, but that should have been me going after that fish especially since there were treble hooks on that setup. Uh, I actually had a fish gripper in my bag, I completely forgot, but that would have been ideal for grabbing that fish out. Additionally, uh, the reason that fish probably snapped off was because I didn't retie the dropper hook that I used the previous day to catch that first jack. It was, I noticed a little bit frayed, not super frayed, but enough that, you know, wear and tear of casting for a full day, it basically ruined it. So the only logical conclusion was that fish snapping off. Uh, had I not caught that fish the day before, I would have been much more upset, but honestly that fish looked like more or less a carbon copy of the fish I got the day before, and I got a good look at him, so live and let live, right? But uh, I was hoping to get another one. Didn't get any more jacks the whole trip, though I did get some other things, so let's check that out. Poundfish. <laughs> All right, well, I finally got one of these guys. Gotta land it first, though. All right, let's not get speared through the hand. Well, all right. Cool. Finally got my houndfish. Cool, right? All right. Back to it. All right, gotta switch it up. Throwing the swim shad. Running low on Sankos. Running low on Yozori's, so let's try something different. Something a bit more expendable. That'll also get into this wind hopefully a little better. Oh wow, that works. What we good? Good. Oh wow, look at that snapper. Jeez. Woo! That's a PB snapper right there. <laughs> That's a there. Let's get a shot of her. First cast. So that's about it for what I have for you guys. Uh, I really just showed you the first two main days of fishing. Uh, I kept fishing the rest of my trip as long as I could. As I mentioned, I kind of started to run out of the lures that were producing bass, particularly my Senkos. Surprisingly, that was like the lure of the trip. Got a lot of hits from predators. Honestly, I think a lot of them were probably houndfish. Uh, they really had trouble taking the hook, but you know, it was nice. It was nice to have some action. And honestly, on the second to last day I was there, or the last full day I was there, I actually snapped my rod. Uh, it just was a bit too much stress throwing those heavier lures on it. 
not at all surprised and not a big loss. Those rods were like 20 or $30 a piece, and I fished that thing hard for probably three years, so I got my money's worth out of it. If I ever do anything like this again, I'm definitely going to bring two rods. Uh, one is a main one, one is a backup. In fact, one will probably be like a heavier setup, and then the other one will be lighter action. But again, these are things I have to fit into carry-on luggage when I go fishing. But overall, it was a great trip. I really enjoyed myself, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And I hope to bring you some new content soon that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.